Greetings from Washington, D.C. This is Peter Thomas, the General Counsel of NAOP. Well, this week saw the uh, announcement by the Department of Justice of a what it described as the largest health care fraud scheme in U.S. history, uh, which is alarming uh, that it occurred in the orthotics benefit uh, of the Medicare program. The DOJ worked with uh, the uh, FBI, the Office of Inspector General of the Department of Health and Human Services, and CMS's Center for Program Integrity, as well as the IRS, to identify 130 durable medical equipment suppliers uh, that were involved in the scheme. 24 different individuals were charged, actually criminally uh, charged, but 130 suppliers have now had their payments suspended. This is a uh, international uh, fraudulent scheme to uh, ultimately uh, use lead generators and telemarketing companies working with corrupt physicians to um, uh, ultimately prescribe and to uh, deliver uh, by drop shipment to their homes uh, multiple uh, orthotic uh, devices, in most of which were, we believe, off the shelf, but some of which very well may have been custom uh, uh, build as custom fit or custom fabricated uh, orthotics. We'll find more out about that soon. The bottom line is that this is a, uh, a major announcement. This was something that the ONP field uh, in fact did suspect was occurring uh, as a result of a number of uh, uh, complaints and the, the uh, repeated nature of these complaints from patients to at least to, D to BOC uh, uh, and some of the other creditors uh, who ultimately ABC and BOC went to CMS earlier this year to talk with them about that. Uh, we did suspect that something like this was occurring. In addition, uh, the MedPAC, the Medicare Payment Advisory Commission, uh, published a report last June that suggested there was a significant spike in orthotics, primarily in the off-the-shelf orthotics category and it attributed that spike to a very few uh, number of uh, physicians involved in uh, some of this activity. So this is a, a, a um, situation where the ONP uh, organizations have suggested for many years, in fact we've pleaded with the Department of Health and Human Services to implement Section 427 of the Beneficiary Improvement and Protection Act the BIPA statute, which would link the ability to uh, build the Medicare program uh, with the uh, accreditation and licensure status of uh, providers of custom orthotics and prosthetics. And they still, of course, have not yet done that. The NAOP is working with its alliance partners in trying to move forward on BIPA 427 through a sub-regulatory approach with CMS. Uh, and we're hopeful that this announcement will get their attention and prompt additional progress on that issue. We're also working closely with AOPA, who's taking the lead in legislation to take a look at what was done last year with respect to the Orthotic and Prosthetic Improvement Act and to uh, figure out what we can do to update that law or that legislation. Uh, the clinical notes provision, as people generally know, passed last year and was enacted. And so now the clinical notes of the process in orthodox can be counted uh, as part of the patient's medical record for purposes of, of determining medical necessity of O&P care. Uh, but the other provisions in that bill did not pass. We've looked at that bill uh, uh, with the fine-tooth comb. We've re, uh, represented the bill in a new form. We have uh, added some provisions involving drop shipment and prohibitions on drop shipping of orthoses. Uh, we're shopping it now currently uh, to the Capitol Hill to try to develop champions and ultimately have some, uh, some legislation introduced in the near future, uh, hopefully in, 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 uh, in advance of the AOPA's policy forum that we'll be occurring in early May. We encourage you to attend that. We encourage you to be in Washington and, uh, and uh, help uh, row uh, the boat and um, ultimately advance the ONP field through this legislative uh, set of proposals. So um, big news in the ONP space. Uh, we do think that we're ahead of the curve in terms of, of uh, looking at these issues. Uh, it's clear that uh, no one supports uh, uh, you know, fraudulent activity in the ONP benefit. It just makes us look bad. It, it's a detriment to patients and it compromises the integrity of the Medicare program. 
NAOP will continue working on this issue and many other legislative and regulatory issues, and we're grateful for your support. Thank you so much.